Ads are essential elements that drive website traffic, boost content marketing efforts, and enhance search engine optimization or SEO. There are two types of keywords, short tail keywords and long tail keywords. Whether you are a website owner, content creator, or SEO specialist, understanding the difference between these two types of keywords and how to use them effectively is crucial for online success. So, Stay tuned with me in this video for more valuable insights on this essential topic. Before diving into the specific of short tail and long tail keywords, let's define them first. Short tail keywords have a high search volume and competition. They are the most common and generic search term people use to find information online. For instance, shoes is a prime example of a short tail keyword, which can represent various types of footwear such as sandals, sneakers, and high heels. In contrast, long tail keywords have less search volume and competition. They are more specific and uncommonly used search terms. For instance, blue shoe wet shoe size 8 is an example of long tail keyword that someone might use to find a specific type of shoe. Pros and cons. Both long tail and short tail keywords have their pros and cons. Although short tail keywords have intense competition, it is still possible to rank higher than the top 10 search results. However, getting there might take years of improving your content and constructing links. Once you are successful, you can anticipate getting a lot of traffic from both the head term and pertinent long tail keywords. Additionally, if you rank highly for these keywords, you might have accurate worthwhile backlinks that can be used to promote other pages on your websites. On the other hand, Long tail keywords usually have less competition and are more focused, so they can draw people who are looking for something in particular. However, you might need to rank for a lot of them in order to get a significant amount of traffic from long tail keywords. Still, if this keyword helps you reach your business goal, the traffic they bring in can be very useful. Which one to target? Ideally, you should target both short tail and long tail keywords to maximize your website's visibility and drive more traffic. Short tail keywords can bring in high volumes of traffic while long tail keywords can generate highly targeted and relevant results. But how to find short tail and long tail keywords? Keyword research tools like Google Keyword Planner, SEMrush or Moz are excellent resources for discovering short tail and long tail keywords for your search campaigns. These tools provide information on the search volume competition and cost per click of each term, helping you to find the right keywords for your business. Short tail and long tail keyword analysis. After compiling a list of short tail and long tail keywords for your search campaigns, it's crucial to assess them to identify the ones that are worth pursuing and those that are not. Various metrics and factors can be utilized to evaluate the keywords such as user search intent, suitability to your offer, competition level, ranking difficulty, and potential traffic and conversation. By doing so, you can make an informed decision on which keywords to target. Short tail and long tail keyword enhancement. It is crucial to optimize the identified short tail and long tail keywords for your search campaigns to achieve maximum results. To accomplish this, you can group the keywords into relevant ad groups, modify bids based on each keyword's value, competition, and performance. Select the appropriate match type for each keyword 
to regulate how closely your ads align with the user's query and test different variation of your keywords, ad copy and landing pages. By following these measures, you can guarantee relevance and quality, reach and volume, and gain valuable insights into which variation performance is the best. Balancing short tail and long tail keywords. The best mix of short and long tail keywords in your search campaigns depend on your goals, budgets, audience, and industry. It's generally recommended to use both types to reach all types of users. Short keywords are good for attracting a wide audience early on, while the long keywords are better for targeting a smaller group of potential buyers who are closer to making a purchase. Keep an eye on how your keywords perform and adjust your mix as needed. Initially, it could be considered whether it is a short tail keyword or a long tail keyword. What matters most is how how you intend to put your website's visibility forward. Depending on each of their benefits and effects, it solely depends on one's performance on how they would like to prioritize their website's visibility. That being said, it can only be according to how you put it based on the results. Such a debate of long tail versus short tail keywords can be concluded.